Hi everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial on the how to make an FPS game series. So in the past tutorial we've made a settings button that actually works where you can disable or enable reflections, reflections and shadows. Now in this tutorial we're going to be focusing on the shop and making a system for buying weapons. Now uh, before we start, I want to let you guys know that if you want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files, similar series, FPS, and well, everything, even the old Among Us series, um, you're going to have access to it uh, on the $10 tier. The link will be in the description. With that being said, let's start. So, what we're going to start with is having a folder for the uh, owned weapons when they first when the players firstly joined, joined the game. So. In our game logic script, we're gonna have a players a player added event on connect function, and what we're gonna be doing is getting the player that that joined, and we are going to click create a folder. So, local owned weapons or local weapons is equal to instance dot new, and we're gonna create a folder, and weapons dot name is equal to weapons and weapons dot parent is equal to and plr now uh, if we go ahead and play the game we should have a folder inside of our player object so as you can see we have a weapons folder now we're gonna have to create the string value inside of that folder whenever the players whenever the player purchases a weapon so in our frames folder i'm going to uh, firstly disable the menu so I'm going to make it invisible and I am going to have a duplicate the settings frame but clear the clear out the main frame or everything that's inside of the main frame uh, actually I'm going to just get rid of the script and I'm going to rename this frame to uh, shop now we want to make this frame visible also just got this thing off of it so i have to dock this window again which is really hard to do okay that was easy so make this visible and i'm going to change the text of this to shop now you can make your ui look fancy i'm just going to go with some simple ui and this first one will be uh actually i think i'm gonna go with a with a um, frame so add a frame to this and i'm going to set its background transparency to gray light gray and i'm going to change its size to something like this that looks good now i'm going to add a y corner to it and set the corner radius to 0.5 comma zero now i am going to have a text label which will display the gun name so the text will be for example i don't know pistol red pistol and i'm going to have its background transparency uh let me just firstly scale this up and set the text scale property to true and the background transparency to one And the text color to white, so 255 comma 255 comma 255, and I am going to change the font to for Doko one to match the rest of the font. So now I'm going to make sure that I convert everything to scale, or else everything will be messed up, and that's not going to be great. So make sure that this is converted to scale. That should be good. Now I am going to add a text button it scale and make it small put it right here and i'm going to get this ui corner put it inside of it and change the text uh the font or i'll change the text to buy and the font for doka one and the text scale property make sure that's true now i i kind of like this ui actually so what I'm going to do right now is make sure that everything is caps. So text 
uh, the text of this button will be buy with all caps and this text will be uh, i don't know font uh, i mean uh gun name and now if we duplicate this it should look pretty decent so you can scroll down the uh things so let me just put this back okay now i'm going to change the is a scrolling frame okay i forgot to convert this one to a scrolling frame so i'm going to use the convert converting plugin which i will leave link to in the description i can run this to a scrolling frame now make sure that clips descendant is checked or else this will happen so just check clips descendants and that should be working now i'm going to change the border size pixel to zero and get rid of this random white corner that i'm not going to be needing uh, i mean from the never mind okay that looks good now i do want to have a folder inside of replicated storage which will be guns now i'm going to add a uh, i think i'm going to go to character guns and go on the star pack get this pistol so what we're going to be doing is duplicating this pistol let's make a red pistol weapon Let's put it inside of the character guns. Let's rename it to red pistol. And I'm going to just make it red. And I am going to have a duplicate this one and copy its name. Put it here. Red pistol. And I am going to change the configuration. Let's set the cooldown per already dam damage to 50 for example see an actual difference now i'm going to make sure that this is red make sure it's your own weapon i'm just going to make a red pistol now what i'm going to do is add a script inside of this frame this uh, container frame add a script i mean a local script sorry add a local script and rename it to something like uh shop underscore client and we are going to get a variable for replicated storage so local rep is equal to game call and get service replicated storage and then we're going we are going to go for the main game local game uh, or let's go for local main game is equal to rep on the way to child uh, main game after doing that local uh car um guns is equal to main game on the way to child character guns and local that's it okay so we're gonna put a wait one or we're gonna do a repeat repeat wait point five until character guns character guns call and get children is greater than one now what i'm going to do also this should be hashtag character guns not character guns what i'm going to do is make a uh, for loop so for i comma gun in next uh Cursor guns call and get children do if gun con is a tool then we are going to the local clone temp is equal to and script dot parent dot friend let's rename this frame by the way to temp by the way I'm talking about this uh temp script dot parent dot temp on clone and clone temp dot parent is equal to script dot parent and clone temp uh actually before we parent it clone temp dot name is equal to gun dot name and clone temp dot visible is equal to true and we are going to set the cloned temp dot uh let's rename the text label inside of the template to a uh, name to display name or let's rename this to 
name underscore display because I think that might get. I don't want to rename that to display name and rename the text button to buy. Now plant temp dot dot display dot I think name name underscore display dot text is equal to gun dot name. Also, I'm going to convert that to all caps. I'm not sure if I want to do it though. I think it's like string dot. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I don't really remember uh, upper yes dot upper, and I'm going to do gun dot name. Now, what does string dot upper do? Well, it's basically the opposite of um, string dot lower. So if I do string dot lower uh hello that will print uh let's say we print this so that will return um hello and string dot uh, upper will basically do the opposite thing so if we give it like hello that will return um hello this is still totally optional but i like having everything all caps and now what i'm going to do is make sure that the the template is invisible so if we make it invisible play the game that should be working and it doesn't work why let's see so we go here player gy main ss menu frames shop mainframe container shop client temp and nothing happens this is probably because of an infinite yield or something okay now that's weird that is very weird what if we do wait five seconds and then do that That might work. Okay, now that works. Okay, so do that. Now, what I'm going to do is have a text for the price. So inside of each character gun, we're going to have a uh, int value, which will be the price. So rename that to price and set the text to the value to whatever price you want. So mine's going to be 10. Also, we need the currency. So string dot upper uh, that dot dot be a space for space dot dot gun dot price dot value. That should be working now. Uh, I think so. I'm not too sure, but we'll see how it works. Okay, for 10, dot, dot, and let's do bucks. Now, what I'm going to do, to do is have a currency system. So, instead of our plurality function, we're going to have a, a variable for our leader stats. So, local leader stats is equal to instance dot new, and folder and leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats leader stats dot parent is equal to plr now we're going to create our box so local box is equal to instance dot new <coughs> instance dot new and uh, uh, we're going to create a int value now i'm going to do box dot name is equal to box and box dot value is equal to 100 so i'm going to make the starter box amount to 100 and the box dot parent is equal to leader stats now if you play the game our leader stats will show up and we have under 100 bucks so today we have created our basic shop i mean we haven't finished it yet we just made the displaying work 
in the next tutorial we're gonna make the things actually buyable so we're gonna be able to buy gun equip and unequip it now i think this is going to be for today's tutorial if this helped <coughs> sorry i'm kind of sick right now so sorry if i sound a bit weird so if this is if this was helpful make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i will see you all in the next tutorial <coughs> hi